I'm talking into the trash can, there's a bit of an echo. So today you're going to learn all about the products in my trash can, which is filled with beauty products, all drugstore with the exception of one, I believe. If this is your first time here, I'm talking into the trash can, there's a bit of an echo. If this is your first time here, I upload new beauty related videos twice a week, so consider subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss anything. If you enjoy this type of content, I will link my empties playlist in the description box below, otherwise let's get started. So this is the Garnier Skin Active Micellar Water All-in-One for dry and sensitive skin. I initially really liked this product when it first came out because it's formulated for dry skin and I'm always on the lookout for products that won't dehydrate my skin. This did an excellent job at removing my makeup, but I won't be repurchasing it. There is something in here. I don't know what it is. Aqua Glycerin Hexa, something I can't pronounce. All I know is there is something in here that stings my eyes like crazy. The only way to describe it is it's kind of like getting shampoo in your eyes. There is this stinging and my eyes become red and irritated. So this one is just too uncomfortable for me to continue using so I won't be buying it again. Next on my list is the Soap and Glory Flake Away. This is a really nice body scrub. I have to admit though, it's not the quality of the scrub I necessarily like, it's the smell. It, it smells really, really good. Oh, it's, oh my gosh. This is completely empty and mm, it's still lingering in there, that smell. It almost smells like a margarita. That's probably the closest scent. And the scent really lingers on your skin. I went grocery shopping one day after I'd used this and this is all I used. I didn't pair it up with a uh, body butter or a moisturizer, perfume or anything. And I was walking through the grocery store. I'm like, what is that? Is that me? Like, what is that smell? And it was this body scrub. It really, really lingers on your skin. So if you're sensitive to scents, this might be one to avoid. My only hesitation purchasing this again is the price. To me, it's extremely overpriced for a drugstore scrub. I mean, I can get probably the same quality of a scrub at the body shop. So this is one I'm a little on the fence about repurchasing again. I love the smell. I love the quality of the product. I just find it to be a little overpriced for a drugstore brand. So this is the Peppermint Smoothing Pumice Foot Scrub from the Body Shop. This is an old favorite of mine. I've been using the Peppermint Foot Care line probably since high school and I'm 43 now, so it's been a long time. So I definitely will be buying this again. This is a great product to exfoliate all the cracked, peeling skin off your feet. And when it's combined with either the peppermint foot lotion or the intensive foot therapy, it feels amazing on your feet. So this is the Garnier Clearly Brighter Even Tone Daily Moisturizer with SPF 30. I was actually surprised how much I enjoyed using this moisturizer. I initially only bought this because I needed something within a reasonable price range that I could layer under makeup and had a high SPF. So it says it contains vitamin C and vitamin E to brighten and even out your skin. I was kind of skeptical about it, to be honest. I really wasn't expecting it to do anything other than moisturize my skin. But after using this for a few weeks, I caught myself in the bathroom mirror one day and I realized that the hyperpigmentation patch that I had on my forehead wasn't as prominent. And at the time I wasn't using any other vitamin C products. So this definitely does what it claims to do. So I will definitely be picking this up again at some point. So this is the Crest 3D Diamond Strong Rinse. I purchased this because I had braces on my teeth, which I should probably do a video about that at some point. I had them for a year and I had them removed last October, but it left me with a teeny bit of tooth sensitivity that I didn't have before and it's just over on the right. It's nothing major but um, I find using like Crest whitening strips or any sort of like trays like whitening gels and trays I find it uncomfortable. So this does work 
The key is you have to use it consistently, like it has to be used twice a day. In the beginning, I didn't do that. And then I realized that if I wanted any sort of results, I'm gonna have to make the effort to rinse once in the morning and rinse once again at night. And once I stuck to that routine, I definitely did notice the difference. I think I was a little nervous in the beginning to rinse twice a day because anyone out there who's ever experienced tooth sensitivity knows how uncomfortable it is and they don't wanna make it any worse. So this is another one that I was pleasantly surprised by and will definitely be repurchasing again. So the next product is the Olay Complete Broad Spectrum with SPF 30 for sensitive skin. As a moisturizer and just strictly as a moisturizer, it was okay, but again, I buy moisturizers to layer underneath makeup and when it turns my makeup funky, then it ceases to be of any use to me. This, I can't really describe it. It didn't just oxidize my foundation. It made it almost look like there was dirt on my face, if that makes any sense at all. It just, it doesn't layer well with foundation. Anytime I paired this up with a foundation, it just, it turned me orange. It just caused my foundations to oxidize in a really bad way, so I won't be picking this up again. I won't go into too much detail on the remaining products because it's all like shampoo and conditioner. So this is the Garnier Whole Blend Avocado Oil Shampoo and Conditioner. These were actually pretty good. I've tried a couple of shampoos in these lines and so far I have no complaints. Yeah, I'll probably pick these up again. My only issues with shampoo is that because I have color treated hair, I don't want it to strip the color out. And so far I haven't had any issues with this line. The other group, unfortunately for this pair, the Dove, yeah, unfortunately the Dove Color Care Protect Shampoo didn't work out so well for me. I ended up with like a really nasty buildup on my roots for lack of a better word. Like it almost, I can't really describe it. It just seemed like I had really greasy roots even though I had washed several times with the shampoo. So this is one that I'm just gonna leave. I won't bother picking up again. It didn't work out well for me or my hair. So those are all of my empties for this month. If you enjoyed this style of video, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to catch more of my reviews or other videos like that, consider subscribing and sticking around. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.